Hello everyone, welcome back to Mochi Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro and the montage of my island. It took such a long time to film and edit and all of that, but I'm glad I did because I would say it's one of my favorite things I've done as a content creator and just like that editing process was long and dragged out and awful, but honestly the finish, the finishing result was beautiful and i'm so glad i get to keep that as what i see of my island last but now that you guys have my dream code of course i have to be a good tour guide and give you guys a tour of my island so you guys know what to follow when you get here so first of all you have to arrive at the dodo airport so from the residential center where you will be waking up you would want to go to the airport so that you guys could have this beautiful view of the entrance i think honestly the entrance turned out so so nicely i'm so happy with what it looks like all right next up we're gonna head to the right to the mulong area so this is where we are walking along right now and you guys can see for yourself when you are here so i'm not going to be doing too much like an in-depth like showing you guys all the places and all that because you guys can definitely visit with the dream island code and follow along while i give this tour so you guys feel like you're right here with me next up we have the aladdin area i love these silos at the dome i think it looks so nice it brings the whole palace together and it's definitely a creative use of like the leftover simple panels that i had from the custom design with the cinderella's castle so following along we cross the bridge and we have arrived at the fairy circle yes this magical mystical looking place is the fairy circle and we have a wishing well and all of that for your fairy tale dreams to come through or true <laughs> all right but speaking of which if you guys didn't know my island is fairy tale themed so it is not disney themed from the mulan and aladdin it is fairy tale themed so there's a bunch of different fairy tales on my island that you can you guys can find from the like the popular ones like the disney classics as well as the not so like sought out after ones like the classic or they are classic but they're not like really known known you know but with that being said this is the wonderland area that i am showing right now and you guys can explore what wonderland is like with the dream code but this is what it is and then from there we can go down and this is if you guessed it it is ruby's house because she is a white bunny and i thought it was perfect to put here so from ruby's house we can walk down this rainbow beach oh for a minute i forgot what it was called but the rainbow beach is the rainbow flower beach that we built on stream as well as this little celestial lookout place so this is where you can look at the stars i don't think there's gonna be stars on the dream code unless you stay for a while and then it's gonna sunset into the celestial part or the night part and then next up we have the king midas area where everything is gold and this little nook that is the train station that has nothing to do with any fairy tales but i just wanted to put it there next up let's move along and this is the campsite area we built also during stream i really like it because it's so like the white pastel aesthetic very naturey very pastel next up uh following along is the witch's brewery so this is where snow white's poison apple and everything comes from i think it fits very well on this corner because it's right next to the pirate section which like you know pirates are supposed to be supposed to be like related or somewhat related <laughs> oh however you want to put it but this is my secret beach with the pirate's cove so i really wanted to make this area a cove like i know that there's a lot of like pirate areas that i've seen that aren't really cove like because they don't really have a water feature so i added a water feature with the waterfall i think the terraforming wise this waterfall is probably one of my favorite waterfalls on my island and then of course no pirate area will be complete without a pub and a tavern so this is that and then moving along next up we have 
this little area so that's where the pirate area is it's very hidden i like that it's like a hidden little entrance because you know it's pirates you gotta be you gotta be hiding it and once you walk in through this little area right here i think that's a good photo spot though you're gonna get sherb's house and his herbologist place this is where all the residents of the island will get their share of medicine <laughs> and all that good stuff all right next up we have dom's house and right next to dom's house is jack and the giant beanstalk so this little tree stump is supposed to represent the cut down beanstalk but i didn't have a beanstalk so you know this will do and all the stolen goods from the giant and the giant's boots as well as a little farm greenhouse that didn't look really like a farm greenhouse but you know what it's fine Crossing the bridge, we go into the woods. Dom, um, not Dom. Bob's house is first. Bob doesn't have a fairy tale house because I ran out of ideas, but you know, we're just gonna leave it here. Just pretend you don't see it. <laughs> but other than that, we have Hansel and Gretel right here. This is Marina's house, which fits very well if you know what Marina's house interior is. And if you haven't guessed it yet, this is the little red riding hood place with the red hood as well as the grandma yard and Whitney's house because Wolf and Grandma mixed together. I got Whitney vibes. <laughs> so let's leave this area and head out to the rest of my island. Next up, once we drop down from here is the Medusa area. So we built this during stream. I didn't like it at first, but you know, the more I look at it, the more I'm pretty much liking it and then this is medusa's head because we couldn't have came up with anything more creative i'm sorry i don't have the drawing skills to make it nice but you know it is what it is so it's very greek like and all that and we have some campsite stuff to fill this little nook that you guys can explore i think it's a super cute nook ruby don't even think about moving away my villagers have been thinking about moving away I haven't moved away a villager in a solid month, so, you know. Next up maybe is a villager hunt video. But right here is Swan Lake. This is probably one of my favorite places on my island because it's so, like, peaceful and nice and really, really serene and cute. And that is the Lady of the Lake. If you were in that position, would you choose the gold or the regular? Hmm, interesting. And you can move on to this little corner, which you can see like the couple seating right there. I think this is such a cute photo spot if it weren't for the trees blocking it when you do take a photo. But heading up, that is Cinderella's outdoor ballroom as well as Cinderella's castle. So you can pan up right here to see the castle and the ballroom area. And outside of the ballroom on the right is the courtyard area where you could have a little chill sesh when you don't want to go to the ball. This is probably where Cinderella hid. <laughs> All right, moving along to the left side is through the woods. And once you cross this abandoned bridge is the Beauty and the Beast castle. So I wanted this area to feel like abandoned, kind of left out, kind of like its own space. The castle wise, I wanted to feel like not too grand of a castle very like modern or not modern but low-key and having like a kind of abandoned yard and all of that so it doesn't feel too grand but i think it fits the beauty and the beast story very well moving along coming down is the snow white area so this is where snow white fell asleep and all the dwarves around it and the prince is right there and you can have your little snow white moment and take a picture right there and after that this is the housing for the dwarves and these the whale that appears in the story of snow white next up is thumbelina's place so this is thumbelina's little yard or place i don't know who gave me the ideas to use this like these little um 
pencil holders or what is what is it called i forgot what they're called but i think it's so cute it fits so so well with this area and honestly it turned out really nice for something so tiny next up is goldilocks and three bears do you guys get it it's a pun. Cody lives here. So we have Cody Locks and the three little bears. And I really wanted a lavender field on my island, but I didn't know where to put it. So I left it right here. Honestly, it fits very well, despite it not being in the story. <laughs> and over here is the sword in the stone. Definitely King Arthur stories are probably one of my favorites in terms of like folklore and all of that. I got this idea somewhere, I don't know, like right before I fell asleep, like how to do the sword in the stone thing. And I decided to make it a custom design, a pro design, and then put it right behind the stone. And it looks like the sword is in the stone <laughs> and you can never move it. Hmm. I am the chosen one. All right, moving on, this hidden path. I wanted to reflect what Rapunzel is like, where it's very hidden, very like away, the dome, the overgrownness and the like covered in water and all of that where she couldn't have escaped. But yes, you have your Rapunzel moment right there. And crossing the bridge, we have Abel sisters right here. So this is where we are back to the entrance. If you had taken us straight away from the entrance, this is where you would have been. So this is Abel sister with their fabric place and design and sitting area. Next up into residence hall, don't miss this. There is a little path right here. And this is to where you will be staying once you visit Mochiro, which is the fairy tale hotel. So this is my boyfriend's house, which I made it into a hotel, but that you guys can check out on your own as well as this outdoor cafe. So in the hotel, there will be a little spa area. There's the lobby, there's the cafe, as well as the dream suite. So I think it's super, super cute. So you guys should definitely go check it out. It is a little bit different from what I did on the speed build because Harv's Island's measurements are very different compared to like your house measurements, but it is what it is. Next up, this area is inspired by Beauty and the Beast. It is the town that Belle lived in and I think it's very fairy tale vibes. So I wanted to keep it for this fairy tale town and is, is the marketplace. And if you walked over here, this is the wedding area that we also made on stream. I honestly think it turned out way better than I expected it. This pan right here is super, super cute. I blocked off Nook's Cranny with trees, which I honestly feel like is a good touch considering there's a wedding area right here. But honestly, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother anything. But continuing on this is probably not the best way to go but let's go the long way so back through here we're gonna walk over this way and this is the continuation of the marketplace but on the beach so this definitely is one of my fastest speed builds not speed builds but like stream builds i think it turned out really nice considering how simplistic it is but it definitely filled up the whole beach and I really needed that. So if we move on towards the top of this, this is going to be Flurry's house with her little flower shop. So this is all like flowers and all that jazz. Moving further upwards, we have this pier. I love that lighthouse color. It is my favorite one. I think it's so nice. It fits so well with this like rustic fill to this area, but you know. And then we have a little hidden campsite, but we will get to that a little bit later. So walking back and through this area, we have an open field in the back. This open field, once you walk through it, it's super scenic. I think it's super cute, but this is probably one of my first speed builds that I really really liked and I really felt like I did I did it justice is this um kind of ruins jungle so I left this stonehenge there which I think fits very well and then if you come here and you pan up it kind of has that like feel where you're in a 
jungle and you're discovering these like ancient ruins and all of that and that's kind of the field i wanted to give it and this story behind it is the jungle book or any other like indiana jones and like any other story that takes place in the jungles and the ruins because you know i'm not that creative <laughs> but we have this little dinosaur is this a dinosaur yeah this is dinosaur this is a dinosaur i think it's a cute dinosaur it looks like a reindeer more but that's beside the point point. and if you come here into this beach it is going to be the mermaid beach i absolutely love this time of the day it's like twilight and all the all the like neon things and all the lights on this mermaid beach part definitely glows and gives it that like pinkish shine which i really really like and it makes it feel alive and lived in but through this secret path as i said before we're gonna come back to this but this is the hidden little campsite i thought it fit very well with the whole adventure feel to this place so we have a little hidden way to get through that now last part of my island is a part that i haven't changed since like three months ago so this has remained the same for about three months so this was one of the first things i built it is a tranquil fairy garden so this is where you can come along with friends and have a cup of tea on this table while you enjoy this kind of fairy -esque aesthetic and finally it is my house that you take this hidden path in and into here this is my hidden house I really wanted it to be private so this is kind of what I did to it and I think it works very well I have a little path right here that you can go to watch like the horizons or something I didn't decorate it because you can't really see it and it's gonna be hard to navigate so I just left the bank but I think it's a good touch that is about it for my island. For, as for my house, there's gonna be like a center where you go in and it is kind of reflective of the jungle. And you're gonna take different paths. It's gonna be the dream room. It's gonna be the little match girl, as well as the Humpty Dumpty playground and the 12 dancing princess and in the top and the bottom is the little ballroom area that they go to so i hope you guys enjoyed this tour thank you guys all so much for following along and if you guys do visit my island be sure to tag me with your photos as well as post them on discord and all of that which all the links will be listed down below in the description so before i get going i really want to say thank you guys all so much for 800 subs it's been such a journey like i feel like i've completely completed my whole island on my youtube channel so like i really like nothing really stayed the same so everything that you see on my island can be traced back to all of the accomplishments that i've made throughout this channel so thank you guys all so much for sticking around and i hope you guys enjoyed this tour and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys all next time bye bye